Things are humming along at the Red Deer Airport. A 115% increase in scheduled passengers in 2014 bodes well for continued development. The market is, uh, is adopting uh, the airport here as, as the start of their travel plans uh, and that's happening more and more and so we're very pleased that both our airline partners are seeing success on the routes that they've determined and uh, you know, look for future expansion. Any expansion plans always include the question of having the ability for larger planes to land and take off in Red Deer. One of the critical elements for us on that front is um, seeing the runway uh, get extended and so we're working very hard uh, to secure the funds around that and with our stakeholders uh, to, uh, to see that project come to, uh, to light and, uh, and get those aircraft here into Red Deer Airport. A recent study pointed out the Red Deer Airport impacts the region economically to the tune of $10 million. We have a significant uh, part to play in the economy here and we continue to contribute. Uh, our, our businesses located on the airport are uh, continuing to grow and be successful and there's lots of interest being generated uh, for future expansion by uh, um, our existing tenants but also uh, new tenants coming uh, into the area. With the price of oil dropping significantly, airport officials are keeping a close eye on how this plays out. Some of our business obviously comes from charter activity with uh, oil and gas crews moving back and forth to their sites uh, from Red Deer. You know, so we may see some effect uh, there, but we're watching it very closely, uh, like everybody, just to see what the next two or three months uh, mean for, uh, for the airport and for travel. The airport business has moved forward quickly based on several factors, but this success is just the tip of the iceberg. We're only capturing 5% of our existing market. Um, and so there is lots of room to grow and lots of opportunity to be had. And uh, we want to see that come to fruition for the citizens of Central Alberta. For Go Central, I'm Jim Claggett.